Welcome back. It's been a while. Today we're going to be talking about units in AutoCAD or even in Civil 3D for that matter. How do we control them and how do we change them? Let's get to it. So um, what you're going to do first things first is we're just going to type in units at the command line here. So we're going to click at the bottom, type in units. Of course, you got to spell it correctly for anything to work. All right, so we'll type in units. So for the most part, I work mostly in decimal. So when I draw something at one, um, it's considered one foot for me. Um, but most people, some other people I should say, like to work in architectural units. So this is where you'll start working in feet and inches. Meaning if you draw a line at one, it's one inch, not one foot. So if you wanted the foot, you would actually have to draw it differently. So let me demonstrate that real quick. So I wanna switch myself into decimal here. I'm going to go to line, and I'm going to take my line, I'm going to turn ortho on, and I'm going to go one enter. So that is one foot to me. I'm going to go to units now. And uh, I'm going to go into architectural, hit OK, and I'm going to draw a line. And you're going to notice this is going to be confusing because it's going to be the exact same length as this here. So what makes one one foot and what makes one one inch? Well, really, we're starting with the units first, right? So if this uh, line here needed to be 12 feet, um, it would label itself as 12. So I went and did measure here, and I go from the end point here to the end point here. It's only going to come up as one inch right now, if you look here, because when I typed in units, it changed. So if I go to decimal now, hit OK, and then I type in same thing, distance command or the measure command, whatever one you wanted to use. And I go from the end point to end point. I'm going to kind of cheat and turn on my O snaps here. And I go to the end point to end point. Now notice it says 1. So again, the units are controlling that. So this is what controls what you're using. Now many people might think, well, I'm in engineering. I should be using engineering. Um, honestly, we don't use that in my particular field. In civil engineering, we really stick into decimal. Uh, but we do deal with architects a lot, so it's good to know kind of why their drawings are the way they are. So when they do their drawings, their draw their drawings, sorry, are twelve times larger than mine. So what I have to do to get their drawings down to the same size is I have to just scale them. So if I draw a line and I'm gonna make sure I'm in let's go to units here. And I draw the comparable line in architectural, meaning I draw a line here and I go one foot enter. If you notice that line is pretty long. Now, when I type in units, and I go back to decimal, when I measure that line, it's actually going to equal 12, if I did my work right. There you go, 12. So, see, 12 times larger than this guy. So, if I wanted him to be the same size as him, and there was a lot of lines, what you would use is the scale command located right here. You click scale, you click on the line, hit enter, and then, again, where are you scaling it from? I usually pick the corner of a house or a building. And then I'm going to type in 1 with the divided sign, 12. 1 forward slash 12, enter, and voila, it is now the exact same size. So that's technically how we would do it. Now, there's a few other things that come into play here. So not only does units control when you're drawing things, but does it control how you label things when you do dimensions? And that's no. So when you come up here to dimensions, so I'm going to go to the Annotate tab. We're going to go to Dimensions here. We're going to click this little downward slash arrow. Now, when we click that, that pulls up the Dimension Style Manager. Now, if you're having trouble finding here, if you just type in Dim Style and hit Enter at the command line, you'll get to this as well. Now, when you look at this here, I'm going to, I'm going to double click Annotate annotative to make it uh, current. Um, I'm going to go to Modify. Now, we're going to skip all the settings here. We're going to go right to Primary Units and notice it's set to Decimal right now. Now, Honestly, usually what I do in the suffix here, I put a little footmark, like so. So when I go in here, and I go and label my stuff, so actually we could have stayed right in there. So I'm going to go put a linear dimension, and sure, one to one should be fine. From here to here, you'll notice I have one with the footmark, right? And then if I were to go to here, and let's expand this 11, so now this should be 12. Let's double check my math real quick, right? Should be pretty simple. Perfect. And I'm going to take this guy here. I'm going to do the same thing. If you notice, he says 12 feet, though, right? Because that's, again, how I'm used to dimensioning. But let's do something different. 
let's switch ourselves to something different. So let's go back to dimensions here. Let's click the little down arrow, which again is dim style enter if you're having trouble finding it. Uh, we're gonna go to modify here. And instead we're gonna switch ourselves to architectural, hit okay, close, and you'll notice instantly I now have three, one inch here, but I got one blah, blah, blah here. Something really weird, right? Remember that suffix is there still. So if we get rid of that guy right there, hit okay, close, you'll notice again I have one foot and one inch so again they both kind of corrected so it was adding that extra slash but that is really how you change your units and really the difference between the two units at least when it comes to civil engineering and just architectural units so again my name is Brandon please make sure you like and subscribe below and if you have any more further questions uh, let me know um, I hopefully get back to a normal schedule here and I'll see you guys in the uh, next video.